So I saw this pop up on my feed. If you guys don't watch Meat Canyon, he does a lot of fantastic animation on, uh, what's it called again, on uh, on YouTube. But uh, he has his own channel and I haven't really followed his, uh, his actual channel. I don't know what kind of content he produces if he's doing his own stuff on his own channel. But uh, here we go. This comes to us from Papa Meat. Great name. And uh, it says, the horrors of incel gooners. This looks like it's right up my alley. Oh, 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 I'm so old. Welcome back to the Papa Meat Channel. How you doing? <laughs> There's so many words and phrases being thrown. I was like, well, he's not in comment sections and places Sorry. and humor. Like I, I, I holy, the, the, the music fucking blew my dick off. But holy crap, man. The thing is, I thought he was actually that old. I thought he was actually that old. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm lost. I'm absolutely lost in my old age. What's going on, Dave? Words How's it going, like man? Gooning, edging, canthal tilt. I don't know what the f it, 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 people use it in normal conversations as if this is normal uh, nomenclature just for anybody. It seems it, it, it's odd. And when looking more into it to try to keep up with these goddamn youths, I found out that it's all kind of derivative of something called looks maxing. Fuck is that? Hey man, that, that Donald Trump looks pretty good. Looks maxing is a very, very popular trend right now on YouTube and TikTok and all these other places. And it's kind of embedded in male culture. Yeah, the females, they do looks maxing too. Who gives a shit, dude? We need to talk about the real fucking juggernauts of this. The real people who hurt and suffer more than anyone else. Me and the boys, AKA the incel community. Oh, that's us. If you're an incel, stand up, be proud. This I'm ready. For us, guys. Is this Meat Canyon? This is the guy who there, made, uh, of, yeah, th th this is the guy who, um, humor in it. but it is a very real who thing. does Meat Canyon. But, I but, but, but this is his own to, personal uh, channel. Take into consideration moving forward with my own looks because I'm a morbid, morbidly obese piece of shit. I even got my uh, my my face evaluated by a Giga Chad, um, and he this was the score. Not good. Looks maxing is the practice to maximize one's look, and most importantly, when you're a looks maxer, your goal is mogging, which means to be more physically to mog verb to be significantly more attractive than someone or something to dominate in appearance oh I, all these new terms i don't even know what the hell it is i i barely even found out what the hell riz was like a couple months ago attractive than someone else it's very petty and that's why i love it so much looks maxing is actually a pretty old trend from around 2015 that popped up on a forum called lookism.net it was mostly associated with incels trying to blame all of their problems on not being attractive enough inside the disturbing forum of a uh, forum incels used to brutally criticize each other's faces lookism is a site where looks matter but the unhinged plastic surgery ideas Changed by users suggest that it's a big understatement. <laughs> oh man! Have to get some pussy. So the idea of looks maxing was born, which is kind of interesting because I will say in a job? lot of incel communities, usually there's no kind of self growth happening, which is the opposite of looks maxing. They're upset. I am upset. I am married and I'm upset. I get no pussy. All right, dude. <laughs> and nearly a decade hey, later, here, here, brother. looks maxing has now spread the TikTok. Holy YouTube. shit! That's a lot of chin. Oh yeah, that's a big ass chin. What the fuck? The toxicity of the culture has been growing absolutely rampant. Which you know, some people say toxicity. I say the good word because to mog is to live is what I would say. If you're not mogging, what the fuck are you really doing? There's a prominent forum called Looksmax.org okay. where young, insecure people like myself will desperately try anything to increase their SMV, SMV, aka sexual market value yo yo chat um what's what's my smv like like w one out of hundred one out hundred sixty nine hey that's pretty good that's pretty good i i i thank you thank you i appreciate it 
It's like Wolf on Wall Street. All over again, baby. There's a guy named Wheat Waffles who will rate your SMV for a very small price. And I think Wheat it's actually Waffles. Worth it, which I want to say, I paid the fucking price, and this is what he had to say. <laughs> Thanks, Wheat Waffles. <laughs> Wouldn't just got it, dude. Honestly, can I just be real? I thought it was like, Jim, Jim, like, Jim. Bullshit. We, we don't have to include this in, honestly. I'm just saying, just like cut it if it's bad, but I just want to talk about men because they just have it harder. Like, would... I don't know. I'm tired of like, I go on these forums with women and they're like, oh, I don't look at it, dude. I hate Yo, true. Oh my God, this is so, this is so true. Here's the thing: uh, women have an in, innate advantage over men when it comes to like looks and stuff like that. Like looks and uh, what's it called again? Like doing stuff online. Like okay, let, okay. I've been streaming for about three years now, right? I've been streaming for about three years. I have no growth, and I have like probably like five or six people watching me at any given time, which is um which is uh, not great, not great, right? But the thing is, if I was uh, an attractive woman, like, it'll be easy. But you don't even have to be an attractive woman. You can be, like, super average, have your camera up there, show a little cleavage, even though you don't have any, just do it. And, like, you'll get, like, a lot of followers and a lot of viewers, right? Like, and here, here's the thing. Um, guys have to put out extra effort, right, to be... Uh, entertaining to be funny to be you know um you know you know g g provide knowledge or whatever for me i don't i don't do any of that shit right i'm not good looking i don't provide knowledge and uh i'm not entertaining i just complain i just complain and bitch and moan all day every day on the internet but the thing is that if i was a girl and i did that i would probably have quadruple the amount of followers and um you know maybe reach but the thing is that being a man is so fucking hard dude it's it, it, it's it's difficult. It's rough, man. Like if you don't got that jizz or that riz, like nobody is gonna talk to you. No one, no one's gonna care, right? The thing is that um, I I I'm I'm no I'm yeah I'm not, no one of importance. So like the thing is that it, it, it is what it is for me. I'm I'm basically asked out. But uh, let's see what a Papa Me has to say. I do I, I do like his name, Big Meat. Women. So let's take a look at some of the techniques to increase your SMV. And here we go. Here we go. Take notes, chat. Take notes. Here. Get the hell out. Today's video is sponsored by Fume. If you have any unhealthy habits, maybe consider trying Fume. Bep. Long, long list is soft maxing. These are lifestyle changes that include basic care to your hygiene and aesthetic presence, such as going to the gym, getting a haircut, and moisturizing. That's right, I said moisturizing. It's no longer considered gay. Back in my day, if I would have brought some lotion or if I would have told, hey, I got some aloe vera, I'm gonna put it on my arms, people would say you're gay. And I think that actually True. drops my SMV, correct? No, actually not, okay? Here's the thing. Uh, out of all the, the, the Asian men, like wh which group, which, you know, ethnicity of Asian men get the most jizz and riz, right? J jizzing and rizzing. The Koreans, the Korean guys, they do a lot of like moisturizing and they take care of themselves so they look young. Like they have like a nine, seven to nine step like face routine every day, like day and night. That's the reason why they look great. Now here's the thing. A lot of people in the U.S. never really started using sunscreen until like later on. Sunscreen is huge. Your SPF helps you uh, and protects you against the sun, harmful UV rays, and yada yada yada. But the thing is, like, like right, like I I have been like washing my face and moisturizing moisturizing my face ever since like I was in my in my late teens, like early twenties, right? They also do eye, double eyelid surgery too. That is true. That is true. Can I get double eyelid surgery? I have, I'm a fucking Asian, man. I have a single eyelid. However, I can like do this thing with my eye where like I can like force myself to have a temporary double eyelid surgery, like double eyelid. And I look fucking weird, man. Look, look at that shit. I look like a fucking, like a fucking serial killer. Holy shit, man. See, serial killer, Asian. Serial killer, Asian. It, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy, but yeah, there's a lot of lot of cosmetic surgeries that's done in 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 Korea, man. But uh, the thing is that putting on lotion is not it's good for your skin to hydrate your skin. Yeah, my face changed. Yeah, dude, like I look so fucking different with my uh, with the double eyelid. Like I can see how I look like. I just look really really weird, right? And uh, but the thing is, yeah, moisturizing your skin is huge, right? The, the best time to do it is like after you're done showering, you come out, you just moisturize. You're you're already fucking already you're already naked, right? Just fucking grab a bunch of lotion. <sighs> And then you still got 
just, just, just everywhere, everywhere. Your, your heels, your ankles, your fucking, um, your fucking up. You know, the, the spaceman in between the perineum, all that shit. You want, you want all that shit lotioned up so you feel like a baby. You, you feel like, uh, you feel like a baby. That, 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 that's what you need. Nick. Thank you. It's basic hygiene and wearing clothes that fit you. No longer do you have tight. If you're, if you're a big guy like me, get, get, dude, you go buy clothes. You're not a medium. I've been there, dude. Hey, I'm living it. When I had to take the step from 2X to 3X, sad day. Sad day. Now we're going to be talking about some uh, techniques that will alter your physical appearance in some unusual ways. Okay. So please All right. come with me. Let's take notes. Come with me. Come Here we on. go. Here we go. Deal. No, oh, come on. Seriously. No one's looking. Come on. Starting off with the jaw and face, AKA your money maker. The first category is improving the fucking jawline. You've probably seen people on the internet, you know, do the thing where they show off their giga chad shin and stuff like nope, that. I don't have that. He's saying, Hey, are you in the club? Look at me, dude. See this? I'm working on it, dude. I'm not saying that my SMV is high. It's on the rise, but it's not high. So I'm still working on that. I have to lose about, it shouldn't be that bad. About 120 pounds. Oh, that's a, that's a good amount. That, that, now here's the thing. So the thing is that uh, for me, I don't have that much of a strong jaw, right? Right? It's the lighting that makes that makes it look good. Now here's the thing: if you have a weak jaw, like you have like a fucking turtle, like a turtle, like that, maybe like that, yeah, look like that, right? So what you do is you grow a beard that basically like it sort of shows that the shadow as the as the Giga Chad jaw, right? So here's the thing. I cannot grow a fucking beard, okay? I cannot grow a fucking beard. I can barely even grow a mustache. So I can't, I, that, having even this right over here that goes across, like, sort of like how Papa Me has it, like, I can't grow that. That'll be impossible. I talked to Fear the Beard all, and he's like, yeah, you can grow a beard. I'm like, hell, I, he's like, just don't shave for a month. I'm like, I, I did that. I did that, man. I can't, I can't grow a beard. So the thing is that, like, I, you know, I, I have to sort of, like, at least, you know, work out as much as I could, you know? Like that, you know, you know, do a lot of dick sucking so much, so, 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 so my, 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 my jaw is decent, but it's not the, it's not the best. Not the best. Okay, soft maxing, like mewing. mewing. You're probably thinking, Pokemon. Wrong! Looks maxing 101, dude, and it's named after its creator, Dr. Mike. Mew. This okay. is a facial reconstruction technique that involves placing your tongue on the roof of your mouth to change the shape of your jawline. Some of the benefits include this. Realigning your teeth so you don't have no buck-ass teeth. Improve facial aesthetics so you get that chiseled Giga Chad jaw. And it stops you from becoming a mouth breather. If you're a mouth breather. Now here's the thing though. Uh, I've been doing this for a while, but I only do it during when I'm taking pictures, right? It's sort of like you, you, you push the, the tongue to the top of your mouth or the front of your teeth. Right, so so like like it, it sort of helps you look like your your jaw is better, but I, I only do it when I'm taking pictures. But people do that like on a daily basis. It's a lot of work, man. Breather, and you're a fucking uggo. Back of the line, get the SMV up. You're not a mog man yet. Mew immediately. I have sleep apnea, and that does not help my SMV. I want to see some before and afters, dude. Twenty months mewing plus hard mewing. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. Beautiful man. SMV. Okay, so it looks up. like you know the, I would say that he was a pretty handsome guy to begin with. The side that jaw. jawline now, unbelievable. Really. Really? All Next right. Next up Chat. is gum chewing. The practice of gum chewing is to strengthen and sharpen one's jawline. Is that Which chips? Like, is that mewing? Dude, no. Were you listening? Some people recommend chewing gum for 16 hours a day to get oh, chiseled fuck. jaw. And they make very hard gum. You can buy extremely hard pieces of gum just for this exercise, just to get those fucking muscles right here. Nice and buff, dude. Mastic gums are considered to be the best, which okay. is eight to 11 times harder than the normal gum. What Look the that. fuck? Why like would you do that? I don't know if I, I think I'll just stick to mewing maybe. But there are some drawbacks, which you can develop TMJ and grind down your teeth into baby teeth. Yo, um, it is what it is. I'll stick to being ugly, man. I'll I'll stick to being ugly. I I I like my teeth. What the hell? TMJ. When you're when you're trying to become a god, there's always going to be some some bumpy steps along the way. But the people who persevere and who don't end up getting baby teeth or TMJ, they're the champions. 
Next one up is Gua Sha, which I've seen this. I've seen, I feel this? Like I've seen people roll these on. Oh, uh, this? Oh, my wife stuff. does this. Which Gua Sha is a traditional Chinese healing method in which a trained professional uses Not a that. They use a little rolly thing to stroke your yeah, skin that thing, yeah. while they press on it. You've been rolled around by a Chinese guy? Well, you can do it yourself or I. I still like getting mine from the Chinese guy. And my SMV, like I said, it's on the rise. Where's your SMV? Your I, chat, if, if you want to get rolled by me, just hit me up. Just hit me up. Just DM me on, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Philip Chan on X. Just DM me. I, I'll, roll you, I'll roll you really nice. Should be pretty good. This may reduce inflammation, reducing chronic pain, but it's mostly used to get sharp jaw lines once again, dude. You think there's just a couple tricks in the books? Of course not, dude. Whenever Da Vinci made David, did he just slap the stone around a couple times? No. Yes, he did. You gotta roll around. You gotta treat it right until it becomes absolutely perfect. Dave, David, the statue definitely the was a mogger. I can't speak for Da Vinci. <laughs> yes, Da Vinci was a good artist, but from what I saw in some of the pictures or paintings of him, old boy SMV was low. I don't really know if he was a mogging man himself. Self. Next up, we also have thumb pulling. Fuck is thumb pulling is a technique that involves inserting both thumbs in the mouth and pulling the palate apart against the back third of the palate. So it's going back. Oh, you pull your mouth open? The goal is to create more space in the mouth and stimulate maxilla bone growth, dude. Okay. You, 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 your teeth are essentially a, like a bird, right? You want to pull those bad boys out. Wait, I, I, is that even possible? Like, maybe... You can do it like when you're younger because your mouth is still forming. But now that when you're like, you're, you're older, like how is that possible? What the hell is that? Man, I was watching Papa Meat live streaming kids backyard baseball the other day and it was the funniest shit I've ever seen in a while. <laughs> oh shit. Belt pulling. And of course there is belt pulling, which you bite down in a belt and then lift it up. You lift it up over your head. And uh, you know, there's some drawings of, of how to do this too. Let's just look at some of these, they're pretty good. This is haunting. First off, he put a lot of time in those eyes. Yo, that shit looks like a fucking Attack on Titan. Fucking, it looks like a fucking mindless Titan, man. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Like a small ass arms of big ass heads? Jesus, all you need is a fucking... <laughs> That's insane, people actually do this. Belt pulling. Clenching down with back molars. Put your head against the wall and pull up. Lateral pressure to expand the palate. Upward pressure to... To com... Combat? Compact... Maxilla. Is that is fucking crazy, dude? We, when we did the medieval torture device video, this is exactly what this is. Look at the look at the fucking uh, like the scribbles on there too. Him and he was. This is a madman. This is Da Vinci. This is what Da Vinci wanted to be. I thought that was his asshole for a second when he's bent over, but no. So that's him. And that's him. You put around yeah, your that, knees. That, that is fucking crazy, right, man. So. Oh, this is the artist before and after images. All right, here. So here's before one. What's this guy? He's a good looking guy. Yeah, he's got kind of a bit of a dud chin. Let's see afterwards though with the belt pulling. Is this the same man? <laughs> It looks like there's right here is loose. It looks like he lost weight. That's all it looks like. <laughs> this is the same guy. You know what? He just, he just, I think the old boy just should have grown his hair out. <laughs> I think the long hair also accentuates. No, I'm, it was the belt pulling. I think it was a good deal, dude. I'll tell you a quick story about how I fucked my face up five years ago. I took a fucking belt, bit down on that shit, and started yanking it up from my face with my arms. It didn't feel very good, so I lifted up my legs and put the ends around my feet, started pulling hard as possible, and felt a pop. <laughs> I, I looked in the mirror and my face appeared forward as fuck. I was ecstatic. I finally found how to, to I finally found how to ascend hard. Jeez. Praise be to you, brother. A, 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 a true, a true Jeez. mogger. No matter what he says through and through, the SMV is way up and his belt chewing is only proof of that. I tried this for a week and then took a break. Within two fucking days, it all collapsed and, re and reverted. Whoa. It was it doesn't work then. and I literally looked like my face had shrunk. Don't oh, pull your no. maxilla. Just get the expander or MSE. What's wow. MSE? Next up, we have carrot maxing, which is a practice of consuming extreme amounts of carrots and foods with beta carotene in order to get that orange glow. It is recommended to eat around seven large carrots a day or about six. So basically, Donald Trump naturally has that. <laughs> Eating a bunch of carrot? It looks like raw carrot? You're literally raw dogging a carrot.
<laughs> yeah, man, I'm looking for a belt. Clerk. Oh, what size? Man, doesn't matter. It's from my mouth. <laughs> oh, fuck. Seven pounds of carrots. <laughs> Seven pounds? <laughs> you know, you want to hear something? Uh, like 10 years ago, I was doing that. You actually, like, literally, you were eating tons of carrots to get a glow. Oh it just makes you orange, though. It's supposed to make you look a little tan, but... That's it? Why don't you just tan? Let's well, go to the beach! Because of the damage that UV rays do, so this is a more holistic way of going about it. Okay, well, I can see the mog aspect of that. Let's move on to the eyes! Which the eyes? Windows of the soul, dude. Very, very important when you're, when you're thinking about doing looks maxing, all right? Have you ever heard of the Canthal Tilt? Oh, wait. Fuck is that? This is the angle of your eyes are oriented on your face, dude. Oh, okay. We have a little a thing here, which is positive, looking more assertive, more dominant, neutral. You look like, you know, you, 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 not intimidating, Tenthal but tilt. you could be passable. Negative. Uh, James. Yo, chat, what do I have? What do I have? Right here, right here. Look, look. Here, here, here it is. I, I'm, I'm looking straight into the camera. Straight into the camera. There we go. There we go. I, just, I just look retarded, man. Fuck it. Of course, negative. You look sad. And that's going to take your SMV down just a couple points. Definitely. Okay. Is my Canthal tilt? Is it positive? <laughs> Editor, put like a line to see. Is it positive, Nick? I was going to say it's either neutral. You need eyes for that? It's negative? Those with negative Canthal tilt, apparently me, are called prey eyes. These make you look prey weak eyes. and vulnerable. Which I don't look weak and vulnerable, dude. I bet you there's been so many people who watch my videos and are like, I could fuck him up. And you know what I have to say that too? I'd be like, Psst. Stop. Outside of surgery, there's no way to change your canthal tilt. What are you doing? And that doesn't mean people aren't trying. Here are some exercises that are paraded around. Squint to maxing. Eyes, you can do squint maxing, which do 100 partial squints before. Chat, I'm Chinese. I'm squinting all the time. How does this help me? Yeah, this, yeah, it's not, it's neutral for me. Yeah, not. just let's continue before bed and try to hold squints throughout the day to train your eyes to strengthen those muscles, which I'm going to start doing fucking tonight. I'm going to do one of these. <laughs> he's, you can, I see this guy's just making fun of me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Pull, which pull in the corner of your eyes to change the orientation of your canthal tilt. Here's a video of that. I don't, I don't see how that would really work, but I'm gonna see it anyways. Negative. Oh, so basically, when when I go to school and people always go ching chong, ching chong, ching chong, they're just trying to get their canthal tilt better. They're not trying to be racist, huh? You say, hey, 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 I try, try Chinatown, hi, 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 hey, ching chong, ching chong. Uh, they, they, they're just trying to get their canthal tilt. Okay, then, yeah, I, I shouldn't have been mad at them. Yeah, I, it's my, my, yo, my bad, my bad, my bad, guys. You can't all tilt. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. yeah, they're not being racist. Done. Yeah, true. <laughs> hard yeah, maxing. The, jaw, the face, and now we've done eyes. But now it's time to move on to hard maxing, which going to more extremes and changing your appearance via cosmetic surgeries limb lengthening surgeries and steroids come on boys make the tough decisions you know what you, you know can you actually do it without help sometimes you need a fucking doctor's hand leg you know lengthening I mean? so spent 100k hard maxing to go from ugly to average i spent most of it on multiple <laughs> jaw and chin surgeries had a very recessed chin but a very wide jaw and uh hypertrophied masseter jesus christ dude and hair transplants to bring my six head down to a four yeah. and a half head <laughs> i also got two rhinoplasties and a full body lipo Suction. Jeez. God, damn, dude. This is can. Yo, if I saw that, I'm like, bro. Bro. It looks so. It's it's the it's the cheek inserts, man. And the lip, the lip fillers. Like, if you're looking at just the 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 eye, if you if you just cover his nose and below and look from the eye up, he looks fine. But when you look from his mouth down, he looks like a woman. Like, geez, wow, dude. Ugly to average, man. Yo, just stay ugly, man. Like, yo, I'm doing it and I'm married. It's fine. You can stay ugly. 
And we're talking about Ken right here. I always told myself, I just want to be average. If I can get to average, it would all be worth it. And I won't have any more surgery then. Well, now I do believe I am average. I'm very happy about it. Thank God for modern medicine. But now Jeez. I wish I, I were attractive. I spent so long thinking I'd be happy being average that I never expected to be somewhat dissatisfied when I reached my goal. But now I see how attractive girls are treated and it just looks so much more fun. However, my body can't take any more surgery, nor can I tolerate it mentally. So average it is. Has anyone experienced the same thing after hard maxing? The man's the man's mog is so high, and it's a shame that he values his SMV so low. That's a f so. So here's the thing: like, if I were to ever do any type of hard maxing, it would probably be yeah, probably like double eyelid surgery because that's like something that that it's people do it. It's not something that's crazy where you get like a rhinoplasty and stuff like that. You make your nose look like this. Now, here's the thing, though. Um, I did get in a fight in high school, and that dude broke my nose. And the thing is that ever since the, the doctor popped, that, popped my bone back into place with no fucking anesthesia or, or fucking numbing cream or whatever, like that. Like, anyways, my nose has always been different ever since then. But the thing is, I still, I still sort of look like myself. But the thing is, that's a... That's, yeah, that... Making yourself from, like... Like people doing like leg surgery to make yourself taller. Oh man. No, all you need is that riz. You just just riz it up. You just take a riz class. Oh man. But yeah, I I I I don't think I can I can ever like take like do some kind of like cosmetic surgery, like to to my face or my body, right? Like like here's the thing. If you're a girl and you get like a boob job, I think that's fine. I think that's normal enough where like everyone's like, oh yeah, it's fine. It's normalized, right? If you get a Brazilian butt lift, it's sort of normalized by like Kim Kardashian and the Kardashian, you know, the, the Jenners and stuff. But it's not as normal as getting like a boob job, right? Your bones will be weaker if you increase your leg size. Yeah, man. Can't do that, dude. It is, look, look, it, it, it sucks that if you were born like under like 5'4 as a, as a dude, yeah, you basically, you were born with a nerf. You were born with a debuff. Do what you can to get your riz up. Because I've seen short guys get like hot girls all the fucking time, all right? And so, uh, yeah. So it's, 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 it's just, just, just riz it up, have confidence in yourself fucking crazy that's like a great tragedy teddy roosevelt had a great uh had a great quote he said i have never in my life envied a human being who led an easy life i envied a great many people who led difficult lives and led them well that wasn't the quote i was thinking it <laughs> should be something like envy is the thief of joy i think also part of mocking is self-confidence in yourself and raising other boys up dude making sure the men feel good around you man you know what yeah. i mean i wish i could give this guy a hug i'd buy this guy a drink Leg lengthening. Here so it is. Some of the other ones for hard maxing, there is leg lengthening surgery, which it's is gone, during a leg lengthening procedure. The bone is purposely broken. Surgeons fit a support device either on the outside of the leg or inside the bone that can be stretched one millimeter, three inches, or 0 0.03 inches every day. That's from Business Insider. What the fuck are they writing about over there at Business Insider? <laughs> Jeez. Dude, Jesus. Another issue, if the leg becomes over lengthened, the patient will struggle to walk and certainly cannot run. It does. What? Is it that important where like you want to like grow well, uh, how many inches can you get like maybe like four three to four inches like is it that important like how tall look there are girls that like short there there are there are girls who like short dudes all right there are girls who like fat dudes there are girls who like ugly dudes right and just work on yourself man if you want a girlfriend work on yourself it's it's the height thing is like you can't control that. You can't control how tall you are, right? It probably would have helped maybe if you drank more like milk, had more calcium when you're younger, eat more food and stuff like that. But the thing is, once you're, I I, I don't get it, man. I, yeah, this happened at Gattaca. I don't know what that is. That sounds like a porn place. Can you send me? Can you DM me that? <laughs> It's also costly with the prices starting around 30,000 per leg. How Jesus. Dude, don't give me a fucking. I'll just do one this time. Just give it. Just fucking price it like it's both your legs. You're not going to just do one, dude. Which this guy went from 5'11 to 6'6. Six, six? Oh. Look at his legs. 
Yo, 5'11 is my height. It's not your... 5'11 is pretty good. Gattaca is a movie from the 90s. Oh, the like length... Link, the leg lengthening. It was brutal. Jeez. Like, look, look, look at this dude's legs. He looks fine on the picture on the... On the left, right? The middle is like, what the hell? And then the right, you're like, whoa, that looks... That looks weird. That looks really weird. And 5'11's good height. Why, why would people do that? Yo, I just want to be tall, man. You imagine, like, it's sort of like that. Didn't they make fun of this in South Park? Where um, Kyle wanted to get, like, leg surgery or something like that to be taller so he can play basketball. It's called, like... <laughs> Like you try to be a basketball player and it's called like I forgot it was a Negro plasty or something like that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, knee growing your knee, right? And everyone's like, hey, what kind of knees are these? I'm like, oh, these are Chinese. Oh man. Oh man. Oh dude. His legs look weird crazy. in the right one. Kind of reminds me of this episode of uh, Tales from the Crypt where this rich old man keeps buying body parts from this buff guy because he wants to impress this bitch, this woman. I wasn't Yo, that looks like Mo was that Mog of me? It's calling Joe Biden. Bitch. Is that Mog? Five three to five nine. Yeah, the five three to five nine it looks pretty natural. I just, oh, I'm just thinking about my legs. Like, yeah, I wonder how bad that hurts. I would actually, I mean, you know, what I'm gonna say actually, yeah, if you feel insecure about yourself, get a very expensive procedures done. You'll feel great. Yeah, true. Bone, Bone smashing. smashing. Well, this one's free, <laughs> but you, I... Wait, wait, wait. What kind of bone? Yo, I smash my bone all the time. Like, every other day, at, at least, like, you know, because if you do it every day, it's not that great for you, but if you do it every other day, you know, I, I smash my bone all the time. So I think that, I think that's fine. I think that's normal. TMI? What do you think I'm talking about? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you know, like, you know, like, uh, you know, let's continue. If you're a professional, maybe, but I don't know about this one, which bone smashing is the practice of hitting yourself in the face with hammers, bottles, massagers, and other blunt objects in the pursuit of beauty. This is based on Wolf's What the law. hell? It states that bones and healthy animals will adapt to the loads placed on them. An example of this is if a bone is loaded more, it will remodel itself over time to become stronger in that Okay, so this is actually true. This is called microfracturing. Micro uh, micro uh, fractures when you're working out. So um so Muay Thai people, they would kick um bamboo, bamboo trees and trees in general and uh to harden their shin. So whenever they would kick someone in real life, they will break their leg, right? So, so uh, in uh, martial arts, I forgot which one it was. They do this thing where, where you go like this, right? So you, I think it's karate. You go like that. And you go harder and harder whenever you can. And it basically strengthens up your forearm. So whenever you block, like your arm doesn't hurt because your bone is used to it. So that's is micro fracturing, which is, which is actually a thing. But doing it to your fucking skull, that's actually insane. That's actually insane. Yeah, but it is free, right? I mean, it's their money, not justifying their behavior, but it's their money. Yeah. But this one is free, right? Just run your ass into a tree every day, and then you're, you know, you're, you're, you're max looking, man. Jesus, dude. Uh, five three is a blessing to me to have to work harder to get someone to like me. Yeah, yeah. It's, you don't have to do that, man. It's like you just, 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 just love yourself and just masturbate whenever you can. Way. So yes, you can mew and stuff. You can also take a hammer and beat your face until it, it <laughs> forms something that you're liking. Facial fractures can result in a whole array of issues from damage to the brain, detachment of eyeballs from muscles and eyelid structures. That's collapse crazy. Collapse of nasal airways or the cheekbones, injuries to the ear canals and hearing and more. That's my boy, Dr. Is this a woman? Is, if this is a woman, if we're quoting a fucking woman in this MOG video, I'm going to be very upset. I was just, <laughs> you know what? It's from a doctor. It's from a doctor. I'll put it on the screen, but I'm not going to say the name. Lily. Next up after that, we have star Vertex? maxing. I need to take a fucking page out of this book, dude. Good Lord. This is essentially starving yourself, and this is uh, nothing new, you know, but the new term, it looks maxing, take over the internet. It is weirdly being praised where it normally would I can't, not. Many men I can't believe Christian Bale actually did this shit, and later he, pu he put on 70 fucking pounds immediately after that to do Batman. What a fucking crazy guy. What a giga chad, dude. Holy crap, man. I can't believe he did this. 
comments congratulate the people starving themselves and encourage them to go on. You gotta raise those boys up. You gotta make sure and be like, hey, no more food. You're looking great, man. Starve maxing to the most. Especially if you couple that with some mewing and some carrot maxing. I think you're on your way to doing something pretty good. Okay, so starve maxing. Just just be poor. If you're poor, you're automatically starve maxing. <laughs> Oh man, if you're actually poor, you are, are already starve maxing. But here's the thing though, that's if you're not in the US. In the US, you can be extremely fat and overweight and be homeless. In the US is the only place that you can be homeless and fat at the same time. <laughs> yeah, just be poor. <laughs> Joking? Next up is jelking. Ancient techniques to stretch the penis to help add size and girth. Okay, 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 okay. This sounds like something we can do. It sounds, okay, okay. Whatever, I'm gonna try whatever he's telling me right now. Here we go, here we go. Chat, take notes, take notes, there we go. Copying and saving this one to my phone. So how do you jelk? Put your index finger or thumb in an O shape like, okay. Okay, mine is just small. Place the mine? O shape gesture at the base of your banana. Make the O smaller and smaller until you put mild pressure on your penile shot. Ah! Slowly move your finger ah! and thumb okay, yeah, toward the no. <laughs> Slowly move your finger and thumb toward the head of your uh, penile unit. It has to be a little bigger. Little you bigger, reach little, the little tip. Bigger. Reduce the pressure if this feels painful. Boy, we're not trying ah! to torture ourselves here, right? We're just ah! trying to get bigger okay, members. It's not working. Which increase it's not working. will bring us I'll, bigger I'll ask my wife. Right? I'll ask my wife. Repeat this once per day for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? minutes? Twenty minutes of dick pulling. Nope. Work out, dude. They give the same instructions for a bow flex. All right. <laughs> That's how serious you have to take this. <laughs> Improper techniques can cause damage to soft tissue, so you can develop Peroni's disease. Okay. Is it better if you're doing this fully erect? Right. If you're flaccid. You're just, you're just pulling fucking skin and like tissue and muscle at this point. But if it's like fully erect, can, can, that, right? It does not ex explain, 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 explain. That is a great name for a penile disease, dude, which is scar tissue that can build up and create se uh, severe uh, curvature on the member. Dude, I'm... Curved penis? So if yours is like already mildly curved, it's like, do you, do you already have it? How about if it curves sideways? You know what? It's, a, uh, it's, it's, it's a TMI, TMI. I like that. I thought they called that a shooting rainbow. I thought people liked that. <laughs> Some people have also experienced erectile dysfunction. Edging and gooning. Here we go. Next Here we go, boys. Is probably the one I've seen most commonly, That's us. and people have probably we also have seen arrived. most commonly, commonly is edging and of course gooning. Edging is masturbating and stopping yourself before orgasm, and then beginning again, keeping yourself close to climax, but never getting there. Gooning is a form of masturbation that involves edging for a long period of time, resulting in. <laughs> hip <laughs> oh shit, Batman! It's like. Mm. This is semen. Nope. Mm. It glistens in the light. Pussy juicy. <laughs> Charlie warned against this, and yes, the veins are delicate, so it can affect your ability to reproduce. All right, so basically you want another person to do this for you, but not that hard. But 20 minutes is insane hypnotic trance-like states, which masturbation is so intense that it becomes a state of meditation that consumes you and provides endless pleasure. You've, you either pair it yep, with there it is. which is as you possibly can, or edging. There is not one way to goon. They all just have one goal. Be consumed by masturbation and bliss. There, there it is. This, the, uh, and see, this, this is the goon stuff where we want to talk about during Coomcast IRL. So here's the thing, chat. I have, I have a question for you guys. So the thing is that I think that peeing and, you know, and coming are probably the exact same feeling. But the thing is that you are so used to peeing all the time 
that like you're just so used to it right but let's say if like you don't pee often you know like it's a it's sort of like let's say let's say if that's the case right like you're so used to it that it doesn't really feel great anymore right but i wonder if if, it, if that's the case like let's say if if it's like you reverse it like you come out of time but you 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 don't pee often and then when you pee, you're like, ah, 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 ah. yes. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm just asking. It, it, it's just a rhetorical question. Do not answer, actually. Actually, actually don't answer. Here's a couple um, comments I thought were applicable. Back in November, I was doing the No Nut November challenge, but I edged for every single day of the month on December 1st. I started to masturbate and edge like six more times before I I almost passed out from the intensity <laughs> of orgasm. So much, I had to take a bath and look for a towel to clean everything up. No joke, I came like four ounces. And of course, the first comment underneath it is just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, these people are crazy, man. These people, these people are crazy. Holy shit, maybe I should try it. Boys, that's what we need to do. We need to boost our boys up. That's an incredible feat. An entire month of edging. Wow. If it was me, I probably, I, I would, well, Nick, here's the thing. Would you say, are you a, are you an edger or are you a gooner? Edger. You said that with a lot of, like, you, that was a very non-mog way of saying that. You can't just whisper edger, dude. Say it loud and proud, dude. I'm an edger. And you're, I'm proud. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Whoa, what's the last one? Munting? Next up, we have munting. Munting is a variation of necrophilia involving two living people and one dead person. It can be male or female. It's a corpse. No fucking way, dude. No way people do this. All right, it's a dead, it's a dead corpse. And if you see someone who months, you need to stay clear of that guy. But if you do, this is what, this is how to month if that's a road that you want to go down, which is fine and dig up a semi. -dip. No, this is illegal. You're basically exhuming a corpse that's semi decomposed. decomposed corpse one person then goes down on said corpse while the other one jumps on the dead person's stomach causing the juices to be forced out of all orifice these are drank by the person orally connected to the corpse what the hell no way this is real what wow people will go through that oh uh, well yeah, I, I, I could see crazy ass people doing this shit. Holy, yeah, disgusting. Jesus Christ. Yeah, these people need Jesus. Corpses. Uh, I want to throw up a little bit. And I want to say that this has nothing to do with looks maxing. Like I said, it's just a part of the normal culture of what we're talking about. Jeez. And there is a munting subreddit, but you have r slash munting is private this community is private and only approved by members who can view and take part in this, its discussion oh of course there is of course there is have to literally request access and be granted in to see what's happening so if anybody has that pandora's box key i guess maybe share it with the world because i'm kind of curious if i'm being honest what's worse than that Oh, okay. I think I know what rope maxing which, is. Which, lastly, we have rope maxing, which, you know, if you do all these changes, you put your heart and soul into it, and you still can't get laid, you resort to ropes maxing, which is basically unaliving yourself. If you're a true mocker, and you're trying to get your SMV up, then you will goon yourself into enlightenment, and you will know that your brothers are around you, belt chewing. Wait, was his dick that big? Was Dr. Manhattan's dick actually up to his knees? I need to watch this movie again. Good movie, by the way. Mewing, mewing, hard mewing, carrot maxing, leg lengthening, 
doing everything they can to boost themselves up, but then also boost, boost their boys up. And here's the thing, guys, because like I said, there's no there's no women in here, so we can talk candidly. It's no? important to have confidence within yourself. <laughs> Gay? I myself am a mogger. A goon from time to time. Hell, I'll even edge if I feel like it. But one thing that's important is boosting up your fellow man. As a man, it's a nice club of people where it's easy to feel down on yourself. Something that women can't understand, all right? So I would say, if you see a man in the street, see if he mews. Compliment a jawline. Offer helpful suggestions, right? Most importantly, worry about your own SMV and try to boost all the other SMVs around you. Because it's not a competition, boys. It's a lifestyle. Oh, I'm comfortable in my own skin. <laughs> look how weak my chin is. Look how bulbous I am, dude. I look like the goddamn Michelin man. You think I'm stoked about being a non-mog? Fuck that. You're trying to mog to be more mog than any other man around you. Man, what a, <laughs> what a good video. What a good video. I'm going to share this with you guys. What a good video. Yeah, I'm going to subscribe to him now. I'm, I'm subscribed to uh, Meat Canyon, but not Papa Meat. So here we go. Share that with the chat. There you go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, chat room. There we go. But yeah, that's weird, man. Uh, that, that's a good video. Now, uh, I, the thing is that people actually do all of these things, which is crazy. Right? I, 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 I don't get it. Now, here's the thing. I do want to ask you guys. Let's say if I saw you guys on the street and I noticed that you've been working out. I'd be like, hey, man, you've been working out. You look great today. Is that gay? It's gay? So like, so I was like, hey man, you're looking great. You working out? Hey man, you look good. Your cat, your, your your triceps are getting huge, man. God damn. So that, that's gay. All right, all right, chat. All right. 